Hey guys, today we're going to be installing ZFS on a Raspberry Pi running the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS and we're going to create a mirrored ZPool using two SATA disks connected using a SATA to USB adapter. So basically I'm creating a mini Raspberry Pi based NAS and the, the goal here was to have something a little bit more lightweight than my normal large NAS. All right, so to start out here, we are going to sudo and run apt update just to get our, our repo information all up to date and make sure we have all the information about the most up-to-date packages. Just something you should do before you install any uh, packages. So now that we've got that done, that just took a few seconds, we're gonna run sudo apt install. And we're gonna install a few packages here. So we're going to start out with raspberry pi dash kernel and headers so raspberry pi kernel headers and those are just needed to uh, get the, the, the that's basically a prerequisite for zfs dkms and we're also going to want zfs utils dash linux we're going to say dash y so do we, we don't have to confirm that we are going to have to confirm something else though so we're going to wait for a few seconds and this is going to come up with another prompt so it's so moving along here and there we go so it's going to ask us to confirm basically this is just a warning about the uh, about how um the licenses for zfs and the linux kernel are incompatible so if you you know build these together you can't distribute them as one packaged unit or you may infringe those licenses just um incompatible open source licenses anyways moving along here the it it's installing the package. I cut out a bunch of parts here and sped it up, but this is this is um, just me showing how it's using up all the cores to basically build and install this. So yeah, the system's pretty busy and I, I basically sped this up a lot and cut some parts out and there we go. We, we've got it installed now. Now we're gonna run sudo apt full upgrade. And this is just something that was recommended this may or may not be optional but it was recommended and this is what i did so there we go we've got that part completed now we're just going to reboot just to make sure that everything is cleanly rebooted and now i'm just going to you know ping the raspberry pi and wait until it it's pingable and yeah, i sped this part up a lot but once it's pingable ssh back into it so yeah, the host is back up, SSHing back in, and there we go. So yeah, now we are going to go ahead and say sudo apt auto remove and sudo apt clean just to clean things up. And there we go. So now we're gonna check our devices on the system. So we see here SDA, SDB, those are the two SATA disks and see down below there MMC BLK is the uh, that's the SD card that the OS is running on. Now my OS, my boot disk is basically different from the disks that I want to use for my uh, Z pool. So I'm not going to be booting off of ZFS, which is I, I don't think that's what ZFS should be used for. Now, anyways, we're going to specify the devices by um, by id rather than rather than using the name um like dev sda dev stb we're going to specify them by id because sda sdb is subject to change especially if you were to move them to another system and even within the same system they could theoretically change so you're, you're better off using the id like i'm using here so i'm going to cop i'm copying these and i'm putting together a command that i'm about to paste onto into the terminal here so I'm going to paste that in in just a second here. Yeah, and so, so, um, any case, here we go. We are first, so before I actually paste that command in, I'm running ZFS, ZP, so I, I uh, typed that wrong. So I, I just need to run sudo zpool and just show no zpools exist. So I wanted, and this is the command that I was putting together. I was copying and pasting those IDs from above into this command off screen in a text editor. So yeah, basically sudo zpool create tank mirror. So mirror says, that's it. It just created it for us. So when we do zpool list, it shows a brand new zpool and it's, um, it's mirrored. 
So basically, you know, zpool create tank is the name of our zpool and mirror just specifies that it's going to be mirrored. And then we just specify the two devices and we're going to say sudo zpool status. We can check the status of our zpool and you can see we have tank one and that that's our, our pool mirror zero is our mirror and we have two disks within the mirror and we can just run df dash h and we can see there that's our our tank our uh, our z pool is mounted on slash tank one so you don't have to call it tank one that's just the name of the z pool that we picked out it's a common name used in a lot of uh documentation and i actually like that name so in any case that's about it we've got our z pool created we've mirrored two disks um on our raspberry pi so this is the start for my nas um, i'm also going to need to set up samba so i'm doing that in my next video and um, i'm also going to do a combined video talking about the nas in general um, so yeah stay tuned for that um, i'm going to be publishing these all pretty close to the same time so check out the other videos i've done and you're probably going to want to hit that subscribe button so we have a lot of other great content like this too and we have a lot of the other even more interesting content a lot of useful things a lot of interesting things we, we do you know raspberry pis linux servers windows mac os we uh we look at new hardware old hardware um coding scripting automation um, electronics raspberry pis um, 3d printing networking all sorts of interesting tech stuff you don't want to miss out on so definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon otherwise youtube won't let you know when we come out with new videos and uh, you might want to give us a thumbs up and also leave a comment down below if you have your own experiences or anything you want to share if um you you want to correct me on something i got wrong definitely leave a comment down below not just for me but for the next person who watches this video and um yeah any comments questions criticisms you you have i i want to hear it so you know leave a comment down below and um yeah um hit that subscribe button and that's about it for today so um yeah hopefully you found this useful hopefully if not at least you found it interesting and um as always thanks for watching and we will see you guys on that next video